Hey, this is Nate Diggs. Uh, this is Walkabout Mini Yacht's new course, Mist. And this is all the fox hunt clues. They did a really nice job with this fox hunt. Very fun. Such a beautiful course. I think they did a great job of capturing the land of mist. I remember playing that game, the computer game, a long time ago. One of the first computer games I've ever played. All right. Here we go. Of course, the first one is right in front of your face. And it basically says we need to go to the library. So just hop on over to hole 17. And as soon as we get there, it's right in front of you again. So it wants us to meet them up at the cave near the gears, which is hole number four inside that little cave. And it's right there on the wall. So now it wants us to go to the elevator on the lower part of the island, which is hole number 12. So we hop on over there. We're gonna go across the bridge to the elevator, but it's just there on the left. And it tells us that we need to go to the roof of the red brick shed. So we're gonna hop on over to hole number 10 and flying is always the best way to do it. Right there on top of the roof. So they want us to go over to the grandmother's headstone, which if you remember, you saw it on hole number six toward the bottom. So it's saying we need to take this to the library again at the fireplace. So back to hole number 17. And it's resting right in front of the fireplace. Uh, apparently my headset glitched out then, so he just magically appeared on me. Now we wanna to go to the room under the big tree. So we're going to hop over to number seven, wait for the elevator. And as soon as we go out, we exit to the right and it's right there at the end. Now it's telling us we need to turn on all those little circuit breakers we've been seeing around the island. So we're going to head over to hole one first. That first one, just click it on, and then we're gonna immediately head up to hole three. There's another one to the right of the hole. You can either work your way over to five or just warp over there. And it's right outside the door. Next, we warp to hole eight. It should be right in front of you. And then I just flew over to hole number nine. This dude needs a cape or something. He needs to go a little faster on his flight. Once we flip that, we're gonna head over to hole 10, or you can fly back if you want, but that took forever. It's right there in front of the door. Now we're gonna head over to hole 13, again, right next to where we warp. And then we're gonna be off to hole 15, and that should be the last one. After we click on that one, we're gonna warp back to hole one, and now that box thing is open for us. And it shows us a little diagram of a hole, which is hole 15, and it's pointing to the left side of it, showing the brick that we had to press. We head over to 15, fly or just shoot down there, whatever you want to do. Probably a lot quicker to shoot down there. 
And this is the part that we're looking for, the little brick, press it, and there's the piece of paper. So he wants us to lock up the papers inside the log cabin. So we warp over to hole number eight. And it's that cabin just to the right. And like the ball, we're gonna open this up and get it. So it was telling us to go on top of the planetarium, which is hole number five. Once I got there, I just flew up straight up, basically. It seemed to be the easiest way to do it. So now we're looking for an X and an O, which is a description of hole three. So we just head over to three and toward the giant gear, and it's just down there on the left. So now we gotta head back over to the library at the fireplace again. Seems to be a pretty popular place. So it's showing us a map or a key and we're actually in the right place. It's right behind the fireplace. So we're just gonna head on back there, turn yourself around and there's the keypad. So you know, just fill out the keypad like it is on your map open up to reveal the page. So it wants us to head to the tower elevator, which I found out it's easier just to warp to 18, because the thing is actually on top of the elevator, so if you just try going through that other hole, it's gonna be harder. So just peer over and grab it as soon as you see it. So it wants us to go outside and look at the constellations. So go to hole 16 and then find the constellations in the sky. And the snake, the leaf, and the beetle. And we match it up with these. So go to the snake, the beetle, and the leaf. As we do this, the boat, little boat will come out of the water as the big boat over here comes out of the water. Pretty neat little ending. Okay, so I took the long way, but uh, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. This is by far my favorite VR game. And some people complain about the $3 cost for new courses you can't even play a real putt putt course once for three bucks so it's a heck of a deal and these guys do an amazing job making these courses there's the book right on the ship click it and you got the putter in hand thank you guys for watching as always my subscribers do get 10 percent off all my custom controllers you want to check them out go to nld customs on etsy and ebay and see the different styles over 50 different styles for you Thank i will be working on all hole in ones for this easy course and hard course so look at those should be coming up shortly or in the next week at least and thanks again for watching